So number three then from paper one of the 2021 advanced higher resource paper, just a little two mark question for carry out this integration using a given substitution. But you have to write your answer back in terms of the original variable theta. Well, two ways you could set this out. There would be sort of the purest way where you transform the original integrand into the new one exclusively in terms of u. So you don't, for instance, have a mixture where you're catching the integral with its pants down in the process of transformation. Not that you were going to try and integrate a mixture anyway, because it has to be all in terms of u. Well, the sort of purest way would be to do this. You would say, right, du equals, so I'm just working with differentials here, sine goes to cos, so it's still cos theta, differential of that, d theta. And then at this point, search for the parts so you can replace them. So look for a sine theta, there's one, so I can replace that with a u. Look for a cos theta and a d theta. Well, I've got both of those, so this is quite a clean replacement. That can be replaced by du, and that can be replaced by u cubed, so I can go straight to u cubed du. First mark. Then finish it off. So up to 4, divide by 4, and don't forget plus c, and put it back the way it was. It wants it back in terms of theta, so u was sine theta, so u to the 4 is sine to the 4 theta, plus c. And there it goes. And that was very neat and clean because it was quite easy to search and replace. Now, in a more complicated case, or even just in straightforward cases like this, you might find it easier just to do a direct substitution of the various parts as they appear here the same as you would in a formula. So going back to that same integral and that same substitution, then you might prefer to do this because it would be more straightforward, if you like, without having to search for bits. You would say, well, just differentiate that the way you know, du by d theta is cos theta, so that you can replace, so you can rearrange it to say that d theta can be replaced by du over cos theta. Now I've got direct substitutions. I don't want this, so I can put that instead. I don't want this, so I can put that instead. That's just going to sit there and we'll just have to see what happens to it. But instead of having that metamorphosis going on in here, in case anybody finds it upsetting to witness it, you can do it over here. Now it's obviously it takes more writing, but it keeps you straight. So this is the expression that you want to transform. So you just transform it, so I don't know about that. But I've got a sine theta, which can be replaced by a u, so that's u cubed. I've got a d theta, which can be replaced by a du over cos theta. Then I can see they cancel out. So I'm just left with u cubed du. And yes, it was easy, so you could have just done it that way to begin with. But if there had been number mismatches here, between numbers that appeared here and numbers that appeared there, this would sort it out and you know exactly what to put in. If there was going to be something left over, maybe that was a cos squared, what would you do with that? Whereas here you'd still see it and you'd have to go back up here to carry out further transformations. But then that takes you back to this then. u cubed du, which of course takes you to the same result.